Explain the mechanics and physically simulate the Southern Star Trails and explain the angles of Sigma Octantis from three locations on a flat Earth and win $5,000. You will need to explain why Sigma Octantis, or the Southern Pole Star, can be seen in three different locations at once and explain why their latitudes correspond to the angles of Sigma Octantis and the horizon on a flat Earth. Also, you must explain in detail and simulate the southern circular star trails on a flat Earth model. You must explain the mechanics of why they circle clockwise around a central point and can be witnessed at the same time in three different locations. Number one, La Silla Observatory in Chile, 29 degrees south, 7 degrees west. Number two, Kiama, Australia, 34 degrees south, 150 degrees east. Number three, Camp Casey, Antarctica, 66 degrees south, 110 degrees east. Fact, bear in mind that the latitude of each location matches the angle of the central point of the south celestial pole, Sigma Octantis, and the horizon. Sigma Octantis is about a degree and a half from the center of the south celestial pole. It is close enough to the south celestial pole to do the experiment. Before you do the flat earth star trail and star angle experiment, you must first do the heliocentric model first. You have already been given the south celestial pole angles. All you need for this is a globe, a stick, a small camera, and another person to help you out. The reason all we need is a stick for the globe is because there is no concept of up or down in the heliocentric model. Also, the stars are so far away and in all directions, so there's no reason to simulate tilt. If you can use a larger globe, that's fine. If not, this is fine to demonstrate the concept of circular southern star trails. Here's the basic setup. As you can see, the, uh, the camera is aimed towards the south, and the stick is right through the hole, and you're going to need another person to uh, spin the globe. Do this at night with a light source simulating the stars are at least 300 feet away to eliminate noticeable parallax. With the camera attached to the globe facing south, spinning from west to east, this is what it looks like. If you hand spin it, the photos are not going to be perfect because it shakes a little bit, but it does show circular star trails, even though it's not perfect. Next, compare the actual latitude of the three mentioned locations with the angle of Sigma Octantis starting with La Silla at 29 degrees south using the globe model with two parallel rods. Just like this, the stick and pencil are parallel as both point towards the south celestial pole and Sigma Octantis. Here's a close-up of the angle from 29 degrees south. It matches the angle of the photo of the central star trail point from La Silla. Do the same with Kiama, Australia at 34 degrees south. Here's Kiama, Australia. As you can see, the angles are the same at 34 degrees towards Sigma Octantis. Same with Camp Casey Antarctica at 66 degrees south. And the angle towards Sigma Octantis at Camp Casey matches the latitude. What a coincidence. Now for the second experiment, it's time to recreate the Southern Star Trails using the Flat Earth model and explain how Sigma Octantis, the Southern Star, can be seen in three different locations on the Flat Earth. You will need to explain how one can see Sigma Octantis and the corresponding circular star trails on a flat Earth at the same time in the following locations. Kiama, New South Wales, Australia. Latitude 34 degrees south. Camp Casey, Antarctica, 66 degrees south. La Silla Observatory, Chile, 29 degrees south. You must also explain the corresponding angles of the South Star with each of the three locations. Now for this part of the experiment, you're going to simulate the southern circular concentric star trails on a flat earth. For the southern star trail flat earth experiment portion, you will need a light machine which will have rotating stars rotating around Polaris. You also need a flat earth map just like this to simulate the flat earth or you can make one on your own. Um, either way, we need one. Try to make it as big as you can, preferably many feet wide, maybe 20 or 30 feet wide to get the best effects. Put the light machine in the middle of the floor of the dome-like structure or tent-like structure like this and simulate the star trail circling Polaris. Ensure your flat earth map covers the entire floor of your dome. Place the light machine at the North Pole and turn it on. This will simulate stars circling Polaris. Place three cameras in the three locations listed here, all facing south. Cameras and light machines should be on, so record your results. You will compare the star trail and Sigma Octantis angles with the heliocentric model and the flat earth model to see which one resembles reality. Okay, here's a recap. You must simulate the southern star trails and the south celestial pole angles from three different locations using the heliocentric model and the flat earth model. And you must explain why you can see Sigma Octantis from the three different locations at the same time. If the flat earth physical model simulation of the southern circular star trails and angles matches what we see in reality and it defeats the globe model, then you will win $5,000. Good luck!